This is the first quarter 2015 Washtenaw County market update for real estate in, in Washtenaw and surrounding markets. Um, and the market for the first quarter followed really what we'd expect it to follow. Um, Washtenaw County has been different than the rest of Southeast Michigan, Wayne, Oakland, Macomb, Livingston, in that the inventories have been tighter, the band has been a little bit stronger, and values have been rising a little bit faster. So Washtenaw has sort of been the shining star throughout the recovery. And we're seeing in the first quarter of this year it's following that same trend and the inventories remain very tight in Washtenaw County. Not across every price range as I'll discuss in a minute, but still very tight. Uh, so we expect uh, this spring coming up with those tight inventories and many price ranges to see the same activity we saw last spring and even the spring before with multiple offers and lots of activity on those houses that are priced right and in the right condition. So, uh, so from a buyer standpoint, get ready for sort of a wild ride this spring. Seller, the same thing. Um, if you break it down into price ranges, the zero to $250,000 price range, the, the base price range, um, values actually have been a little bit flat the first quarter, which is interesting, uh, and inventories are down. Um, we think that the values, that's a temporary thing. With inventories as tight as they are in that price range, we think you see values jump quite a bit um, this spring when the sales come through and we see the, the final numbers. Uh, with the inventory of that type, sales have got to, uh, values have got to rise just with basic supply and demand because there's still a lot of buyer demand in that price range. Uh, but inventories again remain very tight, in fact under 30 days inventory and actually if you take those homes again, the, the priced right and really the ones that people are chasing, it's probably under a couple weeks worth of inventory. So again a very wild, very active market and under 250. In the 250 to $500,000 price range, uh, the market actually is, is uh, a little more balanced, but you'll see in many instances just as active as the under 250 because we have a lot of buyers who are capable of buying up uh, in the market, and that's been true for, throughout the recovery, is that although we certainly have many buyers, uh, particularly first-time home buyers, who are challenged in getting mortgage funding and getting mortgage approvals, we have a lot of buyers who have the ability to buy up and buy more than what, really what they're, uh, what they're looking for. And that manifests itself in multiple offers and overbids and all the things you've been seeing for the last couple of years. And we're seeing that in the 250 to, to 500,000, that mid price range as well for the right properties. But in general, that price range is selling a little bit. There's still inventory shortage there. Um, we're still seeing buyer activity exceeding the, the buyer interest exceeding the new listing inventory coming to the marketplace. So it's clearly still a seller's market in that price range. But we're seeing some evidence that it's settling. Uh, it's not as crazy as the under 250, um, and probably this year we can expect appreciation rates in that price range to be probably under five or six percent um, versus probably eight to ten percent last year. Still a chance again with spring activity. Those buyers have been sitting on the fence that get released with a little more inventory this spring, and we see could see some values jump even more. In the over $500,000 market, the luxury market, and that market's a pretty thin market. We're anywhere from 15 to peak 40 sales a month. So any particular month you could get a couple of very large sales, price rates, uh, price point sales, you sort of throw the numbers off. So you have to look at sort of a cumulative of more than one month at a time for that market range. But in general, that is the market that is the closest to normal. It was the first market to recover from the recession, and it's the first to settle in, that, in the, the upper end price range. But inventories are rising in that price range. Sales jumped quite a bit in March and, and also February as well. So we're seeing that there's buyer demand out there. But probably we'll see this year that inventories will be rising a little faster than demand. So in fact, we probably won't see a lot of price increases. In fact, in some instances you might see a price decline because last spring prices really got kind of crazy in that price range. Inventories and demand released with, that, with the uh, weather release last, uh, last spring. So we think prices may have got a little ahead of themselves. So we wouldn't be surprised to see in the, in the luxury market or the over, over half million dollar market, the prices settle and are kind of flat for this year, particularly as inventory keeps accumulating and, and there are more listings coming to the marketplace. But in spite of that, from a historical standpoint, the half million dollar plus market is stronger than we typically would see in a normal year. So across the board, all price ranges across Washington County, uh, the market is strong values are equal or rising to last year and buyer demand from a historical standpoint is stronger than we typically would see. So all in all, very good, we expect a very good spring, good activity and good momentum. So that's it.